Today we're going to change the uh, coolant temperature sensor on the 207 liter Toyota engine. The code that comes up is a P0125. It's an old vehicle, it's got a lot of miles on it, but it's very dependable. The engine It's old, it's got some rust on it, but it's uh, worth saving. I pulled the codes out of the OBD2. It was clear that it was a P125, which is a temperature sensor and it's located behind the engine uh, right below the valve cover you could probably take it out without removing the valve cover but I was afraid of breaking the plastic uh, piece that attaches to the brass sensor so rather than risking it I removed the valve cover it also needed to have the valve cover gaskets replaced so it was a good time to do both projects at the same time there's a separate video for that on, uh, on YouTube. I'll uh, provide a link for it down below. As you can see the sensors behind the valve cover. It's easy to get to. Uh, not very complicated. But you have to take your time. Take pictures. Whatever you have to do to remember where all the parts go. Keep track of your nuts and bolts. I use a little magnetic tray to keep everything organized and it seems to work out pretty well for me. I'm going to shut up now and let the, let the video speak for itself. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just uh, follow along and uh, rewind if you have to. And I'll come at the end of the video just to wrap things up. Enjoy. Ciao.
And there it is. It's, it's that uh, gray housing that's attached to the brass uh, fitting. That's a two wire connector. Got a simple uh, clip on it, squeeze tight, pull. And it's a 13 millimeter sock, deep socket to get that uh, brass fitting out. It's all one piece, don't break it off. You're gonna have a hell of a time trying to dig that out. Just take your time, it'll come out easy. Um, it wasn't stuck or anything, so it just unscrewed without any problems. There it is. There's a plastic gray piece that uh, where the connector, a two wire connector goes into. And then there's a brass fitting on the other side with the actual sensor. Install the new sensor. It's supposed to be torqued down to 15 pounds, which seems kind of excessive. I put enough little uh, torque on there, just shy of 15. I was afraid to break it, so I was very careful with it. Then you put the valve cover back on. Like I said earlier, I have a, a video specifically dedicated to just the valve cover, gaskets, half moons. That's a, a separate video. I'll have the link down below. When you install it, don't forget to, the little crush washers. Um, the, the bolts need to be tightened down to seven foot pounds. Don't want to over torque it. You want to tighten enough so that the gasket is compressed against the mating surface and not deformed.
Once you're done, hook up to the OBD2 again, pull up the code, the P0125, erase it. I reset the triple odometer. This way I can see if uh, this code comes up again. If it doesn't come up in the first 60 miles, it won't come on, then the problem is solved. Thank you for test drive. Make sure the car is not uh, hesitating or running rough or no codes are popping up. And uh, call it good, you're all done. Nice job. took it out no problems no issues no lights runs like a champ but should be good for another 250,000 miles or so these Toyotas last forever hi right, guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video hope it was helpful and uh, catch you in the next one ciao for now